Anger and outrage in Cairo as a football match turned deadly. The Egyptian Interior Ministry says a large number of supporters turned up outside the stadium without tickets and tried to force their way into the ground. They say the police had to respond. And they did. On their official Facebook page, the fans of Zamalek changed their profile picture to black. They said the violence was triggered because the authorities opened just one barbed wire gate to let them in, and this led to pushing and shoving. Witnesses said during the surge, a fence collapsed, and it was that that triggered the stampede. We were entering into the stadium as usual when suddenly the police began firing tear gas and bird shots. More than 50 people started piling on top of each other. We were carrying people away to save them, getting trampled to death. It's just three years since 74 Egyptian fans were killed in a riot at a stadium in Port Said. The Egyptian courts imposed the death penalty on 21 people convicted over the killings and curbed the number of people allowed into football matches. Those restrictions were lifted just weeks ago. This latest incident once again highlights the distrust between security forces and hardcore football fans, many of whom were involved in the 2011 revolution. Egypt's public prosecutor has ordered an investigation into the clashes, reimposed the limits on people attending football matches, and postponed upcoming games indefinitely. At the stadium, piles of shoes are all that's left behind by the dead and wounded. There is an increasing fear here. There will be further violence in the days ahead. Laura Westbrook, BBC News.